His goodness, His grace, and His mercy. So to God be the glory. is good. That's all that we can really say is that God is good. God protected us in going. God provided for us while we were there. And God kept us in bringing us back home. And um, I just want to thank the Lord. We just want to thank the Lord for your prayers and for the prayers of the righteous that went up on not only our behalf, but for all the people of Haiti. Um, we're going to move into prayer in a moment, but I'm going to ask if you would just take your seat for this brief moment. Um, this has been, as you could undoubtedly guess, an overwhelming experience. Um, and it was comforting to know that the saints were praying back home. Amen. Amen. Not only were you praying, but you were also praising God. And I got word of the great vigil that took place here on last Wednesday. Um, and I, you know, many moments of that vigil certainly would stand out, but I hear that a high point was when David Coleman sang his song that we all know the title of. Amen. Don't give up on God because God has not given up on you. And I think I can say for all of the people who gather, we did not give up on God. We are still not giving up on God. And we believe that God is able to do a wonderful, exceedingly, abundantly more than we ever Not only was this a um, historical tie between the Lawrenceville Presbyterian Church and the Shallow Baptist Church, but a daughter of our church, and the Marine um, Reed, the Reverend Marine Reed, is considered a daughter as far as I'm concerned. Um, family still here, former member of this church. She is now an ordained elder of the Kingdom Church in Ewing. And she struck out on her own, felt a real passion that she wanted to be in Haiti with this group. And so it wasn't a foreign group to her. She knew Shiloh clearly and met, had met some of the members of Lawrenceville. But it is a third church in our area that was represented. And um, Reverend Maureen Reed was a blessing to this trip as well. So just have a word on behalf of yourself, your ministry, and your church as well. First, I certainly have to give honor to a God that I have come to know in a very different way. Um, and I certainly want to give honor to the right Reverend Darrell Armstrong, who um, I certainly have gotten to know greater, as well as my new family here uh, that sits with me. Um, I have had a passion and a calling for missions for some time. And I had shared that passion with um, a few people, namely um, um, Minister Tracy Ross and uh, Sister Camille. Um, and um, I had had uh, what I thought were a few opportunities to go um, abroad, um, but they didn't really gel. And I'm, and I'm now at a place in my walk where I know when God is orchestrating something and when he isn't. Um, and when this opportunity was presented to me, I knew this was God-ordained. Um, I have um, my own ministry. It's Maureen Reed Ministries, LLC. And um, I decided that it was time for my ministry to go to another level in service. And, and, <clears throat> and this presented 
Um, I was grateful to be embraced by this family, uh, by Lawrenceville Presbyterian, and also, of course, my family, my extended family here. Um, of course, I had no idea uh, of the magnitude, the impact that it would have on all of our lives. Um, my pastor and my church family was certainly um, praying for me um, and was supporting me in prayer. Um, but this experience um, has really provoked me to make not only life changes, but to be compelled to change other people's lives in a way that we change our focus um, to incorporate or include more of we thinking and less of me thinking. Mm -hmm. um, for all of us, the images are very vivid. Like Bruce said, who was a phenomenal leader, um, <clears throat> what you saw on CNN was truly just a fraction of the impact. Of course, being a woman, a mom, the mothers, the babies that I saw um, with the injuries that they had um, was heart-wrenching. But what really sustained me was the praise that was in their mouth at a time when many of us would have been asking God why they were giving God praise and saying, Lord, I know that you brought me this far. You allowed me to see another day, and I have to say thank you. They were thanking and praising God in the midst of stuff that many of us would have been questioning God about. And so I've learned a new way um, and a new reason to give God praise. So I'm just grateful and glad to be here. Yeah. God bless you.